Once upon a time, when all the world was young, two sophomores at Yale decided they would sail away to the South Seas in a schooner of their own. Forty years later, I saw my chance and I took it. Or I would never hear the song of the Galapagos turtle. This was to be no mere yachting trip. It was to be a scientific expedition, for adventure seasoned with science is the very best kind. We could see the outline of the great fish through the dark water as it swam slowly along. It was like a barn door just under the surface, a big barn door, or more exactly like a slightly warped square with only three corners, the fourth cut off to make room for the cavernous mouth with its two arm-like feeders. One day, Rosie, the Albemarle tortoise, decided to climb on the long chair where my wife, C.B., was stretched out. Twice, the captain and I pulled her off. The third time, Rosie crawled right into C.B.'s lap. 154 pounds of hard-shell turtle is a lapful for any lady. The albatross rookery of Hood Island came into sight. The albatrosses are famous for their courting dance. We saw them go through it. Two birds facing each other, a foot apart, bob their heads to the ground, first on one side, then on the other. One pair went through the whole dance three times while we watched. Here's an albatross debutante about to come out. Which is bigger, the schooner or the shark? Rincondon Typus, a large whale shark, lashed to the side of a boat. The whale shark has no teeth, but he has a whale of a mouth. My son Giff and his friend Stiff, photographing a seal, mother and son, on the very remote Tower Island. The first of the big yellow iguana we caught was on Seymour Island. The moment I grabbed the tail, the iguana, which turned out to be 44 inches in length, made a dash at me. But having the tail in my possession, I was the master of the situation. During the proceeding, he tried to bite me repeatedly. A puff of wind came around Barrington Island and swung the vessel starboard. And then the smash followed. At daylight, we went to work on the steering gear. The wheel box was taken in pieces. We were 920 miles from Balboa. To make that trip, even in these peaceful seas under our own power, involved a certain risk. So we decided to take the chance.